To do a PhD at Oslo University requires a great deal of trustworthiness and determination and being willing to collaborate and cooperate and think about yourself as part of a group and not as an individual. Hi, my name is Livio. I am a PhD student at Aarhus University at the Department of Molecular Biology and Genetics. I graduated medical school in Romania and I applied for a position in a Marie Curie network. And the fact that uh, Aarhus University is uh, like its reputation as being one of the leading universities in the world really tipped the balance for me and made me choose to come here. Living in Denmark is absolutely fabulous. Danish people are really kind and fun. We call them the Southerner Scandinavian. <laughs> Hi, my name is Angela Eran. I'm a PhD student in biomedicine at Aarhus University. There is a lot of events organized by the PhD student for the PhD student where we can all together learn to present our data, improve our way to read articles and to analyze them. And there is also some event where we call some really good researcher, Danish and international, and we can meet and learn to do networking. In my PhD project, I'm studying how companies build trust and improve their collaboration specifically within the construction industry. My name is uh, Jim Peterson. Uh, I'm a PhD student at Aarhus University uh, at the Department of Management and I'm affiliated with the marketing section doing research within the business-to-business -business field. First of all, a PhD is for everyone. I never wanted to be a PhD student. I always wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. Uh, and I always saw academics as uh, narrow-minded and nerdy people. But I have now realized that this could not be further from the truth. The nerdy part is very important in order to produce rigorous research. And researchers are not narrow-minded. They actually care about solving real-world problems uh, for companies and the society in general. And this is clearly number one requirement to do a PhD. You have to want to make an impact. Being a PhD student at Aarhus University is really an amazing experience. There is no hierarchy among academics and there is really a very good work-life balance here, which I really appreciate as a PhD student. My name is Banu Saatçi. I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Digital Design and Information Studies at Aarhus University. Like many other PhD students, I also had so much doubt and worries about how expensive it would be to live in Denmark. But when you come here, you notice that PhD research is considered as real work and your living standards are much, much higher than you could get in any other uh, international well-known uh, institutions around the world. I'm living in a brand new uh, building, an apartment uh, with the latest technology actually, and they're very well insulated. And if you compare with a life, even in the US, in a very, very good, very well-known university with the best salary, you wouldn't maybe find that kind of very high quality, comfortable apartments, I would say. Apart from being a full-time PhD student, I'm also a Zumba instructor since three years. I have amazing experience in Aarhus with Zumba because I am able to teach at Aarhus University's staff gym where I meet with amazing PhD students, professors, postdocs or, or any other academics. In another PhD environment maybe I wouldn't have time for this but at Aarhus University you always have time for yourself to engage in any kind of hobby you like. <laughs>